Okay, this is a flash tutorial for some, you know, basic drawing techniques. And I'm going to go ahead and start with a box. And I'm going to fill this box. I'll make the border green and the inside oh, pink. Make it really ugly. And I'm going to hold I'm going to start to drag my box here, but if I hold shift, you'll see that it becomes square. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make this just a square. And if I click the circle and I start to draw and I hold shift, you'll see it becomes a circle, a perfect circle. So shift is just a, a key that will, you know, help that along. Now what I want to do is I'm going to select both of those and what I did is I, I click once and I select the inside. If I double click it, it selects both. Now if I hold shift and I double click the next box or circle, it'll select that in addition to what I had before. I'm going to copy and paste. All right, and I just want to get a few copies out here so that I could do some demonstrations. Okay, this is pretty ugly. It's going to look really ugly on the YouTube page, but you know, we'll go we'll go with it. So now what I want to do is I want to show you some of the the brush tool options. First thing is I want to choose my brush and I'm going to go ahead and leave it big and you know, I'll pick another bright color like bright blue. Now, if I just went and I just painted this as normal, okay, actually that wasn't normal. What I have down here is paint inside. I'm going to go back to paint normal just to show you this one. If I just start painting, that's normal, and that's normal. All right, if I was to use the modifier here and go to paint fills, I can go over here, okay, and now what it's done is it's painted everything except the border and I can do that on the circle here and you can see the border comes through. The next one down is paint behind so if I wanted to paint here okay now this is one of my favorites because you can really you know add some effect to some you know, button or something and the next one is paint selection now if I try to paint now nothing's happening However, if you were to use, like, say, the lasso and, you know, a selection, make a selection like this, and then hold shift and do another weird selection, like that, you can see that it looks checkered or dotted. That's because that's our selection. If I use my paintbrush and I just go paint like this, just all over the place, it only paints those two spots. So those are modifiers just under paint. All right. Okay, the next thing is working with these little borders that we have on our shapes. Um, I'm going to click here on the ink tool. I think it's called ink bottle. Um, yeah, ink bottle tool. And if I open up my properties pane here, you'll see that my border's green, which it should be. Um, I can change this to, let's say, a bright red. And I'm going to go size. 2.75 and I'll maybe I'll make it like splattered. So now if I was to click on one of my borders you can see that it's actually changing and I probably should have chosen a color that was a little bit more different. Alright so let me go ahead and delete these ugly things and draw myself a box now. You can see I've got the blue inside red colored outside but it's a splatter instead of a, a regular line. If I go to the dash line, choose my ink bottle and click it, I get that shape. All right. Now if I was to click and drag this, it's going to just move the inside. So what I want to do if I want to move this is to double click it and then drag it. Now if I copy and paste this, since I still have it selected, I can move it on and off with no problem at all. Okay, if I was to move it on and click off here, and then try to move it back, it eats away the part that it covered. So this are, these are some just of the basic steps here. Now, um, if I wanted to move this, I can drag it over and make it kind of part of that again. If I wanted to change a color here, I can click on the color, choose the fill option and, you know, change it. Do it again with this one. 
All right. So you can see that you can get some pretty interesting effects just by using some of the basic tools. And a lot of these things will have modifiers. Um, you know, like this one will have the options of closing gaps. Like if I did don't close gaps, it's not going to fill it. Whoops. All right. And so like if I had a shape here, let's say I have a circle, and I want to not have a fill, I'm going to change my line to just hairline here, and then I'm going to go ahead and erase a piece of this circle. If I wanted to fill that with a color like rainbow and don't close gaps, it's not going to let me fill it. All right, if I wanted to choose close small gaps, I can try it. Nope. Medium? Nope. So I'm going to go to large, close large gaps. <laughs> Oh, okay, so apparently I made the gap too large. I'm just going to click and drag this out a little bit. Not quite that much, but... I'll make it look like it has a little open door. And then I'm going to try to close large gaps again. And you can see how it fills. And I'm going to go to close medium gaps, and it doesn't fill. All right. So again, close large gaps. And so that's another, um, hopefully that'll help. Um, if you have any questions, give me some feedback. Um, I know this was kind of scattershot this time, but I'm trying to cover a lot of basics in just a few minutes. So um, again, if you have specific questions, let me know and I'll do a tutorial on those. Thank you very much.